Hello there, you watching Susie Media. Sometimes I, I, I don't think there's a band having the same feeling as we did in the beginning. And that's strange. Maybe Beatles. Yes, it was uh, uh, Michael came to Stockholm uh, last Christmas uh, for uh, working on his documentary. And uh, we met up and uh, we was not talking that much about this 60s anniversary. Uh, just having a good time, a couple of hours, and I was asking uh, uh, a few questions. Uh, they were asking a few questions to me about uh, my relation to, to to Michael and how I see him as a as a musician, singer. Uh, so it, this thing with with a, a reunion came more like uh, over a a night as a sensation, <laughs> even for me. Uh, so, uh, kind of surprise. And uh, as many times before, uh, like uh, a shot in the dark. <laughs> uh, a Hanoi thing, very much a Hanoi thing, this. Uh, it happens over a night, or maybe just over a minute or two. Yeah, uh, the press conference uh, came to me as a surprise just overnight. So, uh, could you come over? And I had plenty of work in Stockholm, and uh, I had to change my schedule a lot for this. But just meeting up with the, with the lads was, uh, I was too excited to do that. So. Um, as, as, as I said before, it, it came just overnight almost. Yeah, it was the first time we, we uh, all of us, were together uh, in the same room. Uh, I had briefly contact with, with uh, Sami, a uh, couple of phone calls with Nasty over the years. Sammy used to come to Stockholm uh, every now and then for um, uh, playing with the backyard babies or whatever. Uh, and he had his, his son in Stockholm. So um, um, we, stayed in, we, we stayed in contact for uh, during the uh, all, all years, more or less. Uh, Andy and me, of course, though I've been playing on his second solo album. Uh, and it um, takes a few years, every now and then, and then suddenly there's a phone call from me or from him. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, everything came as a surprise, and it's such a, such a good feeling to, to hang around with these guys. And uh, f for now, here in Helsinki, preparing for the for the gig uh, at the ice hall tomorrow. It's like we're having a, a great time together, fooling around, laughing. Yeah, of course. Uh, the thing is, Andy and, and uh, no, uh, Michael and, and Sami, they. They play all the time, so they're in the business. Uh, Andy, Andy is always in the business, uh, even though he, he he's painting and do a lot of other stuff. Uh, he's he's still the guitar player, uh, the guitar slinger, and Nasty he's got his new album out, so they're all in it uh, in the music scene. Uh, I've been working for football and playing my my guitar down in the basement uh, for myself and 
sometimes, you know, uh, play with some friends, then I could sit down behind the, the kit. But um, I haven't been playing for many, many years, uh, uh, like on, on this level, yeah. when you have to, to uh, uh, when you have to uh, leverera. <laughs> Deliver. <laughs> Deliver. <laughs> I mean, this, this thing uh, made me feel like it is fun to play drums again. And that's, uh, that's interesting. Because I, I thought I was over with that. But uh, the short practice I've done at home, down in the basement, with a little broken down kit, has been so much fun. Uh, and I've been doing things I, I haven't done before. And it feels like if I could uh, uh, rehearse and, and get myself together, uh, it could be a ground for, for a, a big, uh, not a big, but a good, a good pocket for the band. I mean... Oh yeah, I, I, I did some surgery uh, in my back, but that was 93. So uh, when we did the Live Ammo album and, and the tour, then I was okay, I believe. Uh, I'm, a, I'm starting to get a bit demand, so <laughs> difficult with, with years and <laughs> looking back. Uh, no, I think it, we, Michael had some thoughts about uh, me playing drums, as I thought, be, uh, behind Casino Steel and uh, oh, himself, of course, and uh, uh, Sammy maybe on bass. We should do uh, Jimmy Brown from Holton, the Holton Steel version. I believe it's from the beginning. It's uh, it's uh, the lurkers did it. If I'm not totally out of it, the lurkers, and then uh, there was a B side for uh, the boys, and then later on, Casino Steel, uh, who wrote the song, yeah. did it with Holton, right. with Gary Holton. Oh, it's from the from, from the records where I play on, and uh, uh, some of the Russell stuff. So uh, I think there's going to be a, a list made tonight after the practice. Yes. <laughs> uh, after the practice we did uh, today. Uh -huh. So. Uh, Oh, maybe. Uh, I think it's it's going to be ten songs. Oh, but yeah. depends on the speed. <laughs> it's up to you then. Yeah. <laughs> I asked Sammy to I asked Sammy to count in the songs. Yeah. He said, "No, no, no." <laughs> No, I, I, I didn't have to, it's not about relearn, but it's about getting comfortable with the drumming. Uh, that's the thing. Uh, because it's a, it's a physical thing, you know, drumming, and you have to be, be loose in your, your muscles and your body to, to, uh, to get the, the, the pocket. Uh, and be able to, to 
give the rest of the, the band, musicians, uh, to open up the door for the pocket. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think uh, uh, if we're going to do a million miles away, that's the one. We only played it twice. And I've never played that before. <laughs> and there's some rearrange, yeah. some rearranging uh, for, for tomorrow, if that's going to be on, in the set. But I think so. So. Uh, no. No click, no click, and no, no hearing, and uh, just monitors, yeah. all of us. Old-fashioned, old old-fashioned, old yeah, old school. It's been on the table. We haven't discussed it, but uh, of course, there's somewhere in the atmosphere. Uh, and I, uh, I think everybody, all of us, are, are thinking, uh, maybe. Uh, and, and as I said before, it would be nice to, to, uh, to practice uh, myself up on a, on a bit safer level and, and, and do, the, do the, the songs a bit more, uh, not hardcore. Because I have heart in the songs, but uh, you know, as I told you, uh, it's a physical thing playing drums, and you have to be loose in your body to feel okay, and then it comes uh, without no hustle. Yeah. So um, it would be nice to do uh, some more gigs. The, the, the fun thing about this is that I don't know about the money. I don't give a shit. Actually, I don't. Uh, but the feeling and, and the, I think there's a very close friendship between us five. Because we did something uh, many, many years ago that still that still sounds more than proper uh, and, and works in the music history in some way. And um, uh, it also, those years, uh, we were very close when we lived together, when, when the, the rest of the band came to Stockholm, I lived there and they were, uh, they were living on the street. They find that they were finding the, themselves places to hang out in, and uh, uh, we did so much fun together. And the, and the, all the tours in the beginning, it was uh, it was uh, something else. Sometimes I, I I don't think there's a band having the same feeling as we did in the beginning. And that's strange. Maybe Beatles. 